My name is Martin Bertelsson. I was born in Sweden. It's it's kind of natural for me to to be a fan. Benny Anderson has an orchestra uh, that he created. Uh, it's called Benny Anderson Orchestra, and they came to the Twin Cities to ASI. There were probably like 20 people of them, and I had the opportunity to drive them around the whole weekend, uh, which was great for me just to meet meet Benny, but there were a lot of other famous Swedish artists being there, so I drove them around the whole weekend to different venues, and, and one of the venues was to play uh, at American Swedish Institute, uh, but they were also down at the jazz club to play there which also was a, a fantastic thing. But at the time I was a student and I remember driving on 494 and I had uh, Benny Anderson next to me. And he asked me if there was a good steak place in town where he could take all his band members because America obviously is famous for steak and they want to eat some good steaks. And as a student, I had barely been to a restaurant because I didn't really have the money and especially not to steak places. So I'm driving on 494, I'm looking over to the left, and there I see a sign and a restaurant called Steak and Ale. And I just look over at Benny, uh, and I said, Steak and Ale. That's a great, great steak restaurant. And he said, okay. And so the next night, he took the whole band to Steak and Ale restaurant. And during the time, uh, other people asked me, kind of like, so have you talked to Benny? He's like, yeah, I did. And I recommend a Steak and Ale. And people looked horrified and they said, you can't take them there. And I'm like, is that bad? And it's like, oh, I don't think it's very good. They sh you should have recommended like Manny's or something like that, maybe downtown. And I'm like, well, I think they're going there today. And the next day, Benny came up to me and said, oh, we went to Steak and Ale last night and we thought it was great. And I'm like, wow, that's fantastic because I've been worried the whole night. And so later on, I, I told this story to people, and um, and people will always be laughing every time I tell the story that, oh, Abba came to town, Martin recommended steak and ale, they all went there, and they loved it. And so we were at one party, and uh, one of the uh, hostess there said, Martin, Martin, tell a story about the steak and ale and Abba. And this party, everyone started to laugh, and they said, hey, can you imagine you took them to steak and ale? That's horrible. But uh, I said, they actually loved it. They thought it was great. And sadly, you know, Steak and Ale restaurant is not there anymore. And uh, it, it closed down. And uh, people were laughing about the story. And then there was one guy in the group that did not laugh. And he came up to me afterwards. I own that Steak and Ale restaurant. <laughs> so it was an interesting coincidence. But he said, I, I, I thank you for bringing all the Alba and, and their orchestra to the to the steak and ale restaurant.